Imagine if you went to a restaurant and you're eating this pasta dish and everything, the sauce is right, a little sweetness, a little spice, just enough salt, but there's like a gasoline taste and you're like, can't put my finger on, is there gasoline in this? Actually, there is, good sir. You, you have quite the taste buds. You should be on our team. Yeah, we have to add it. Why? It's an otherwise perfect dish. Why the gasoline? It's so poisonous. I can, ow, ow. It would be too good. We just, we're not allowed. I'm sorry. Deal with the pain. That's what it's like to be a camera enthusiast as your hobby. Every single release, you're like, oh, perfect, perfect. What? Why? Today we go over the company's unbalanced cameras that could be perfect, but are tinkered with. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Okay, we're filming on the Canon EOS R with one of those Siriu lenses, 35 mil Tony 1.2, designed for APS-C. But I, I skirted around it with a little active stave, 10% crop, full frame lens. In focus, sometimes. I forgot my hair light. Wow, that's bright. So we're gonna talk about some of the new releases lately, like this Fuji medium format, GFX 100 Mark II, and the Blackmagic full frame cinema camera. With problems, they all have it. First, let's mention this Blackmagic. L-mount, the rumors were true. Full frame, wow. I was watching the whole live stream and I just, I wanted to yawn in his face after eating garlic. I was just like, he played this cinematic b-roll of fake actors laughing, fake laughs. I'm just like, <laughs> you believe the cinema look of this? Oh my God. And some of you drool happy freaks are just like, oh my, wow. Look at the color science. Such a cinematic look. What was the story? Is Blackmagic this out of touch with what YouTube hobo scrubs desire? Because they never appease my soul. Sure, you have a full frame sensor now, people are gonna be drooling their potato chips out of their mouth, and it's like, yes, nice image. But like, you literally lack anything. Any of the automated features that are in most mirrorless cameras, no IBIS, no autofocus. Flippy screen, nope. Auto exposure, doubt it. Freaking doubt it. You max out at an unholy HD 120 frames per second with a huge crop? Who are you? Who is that for? So unbalanced, black magic. There's no witch in the back with her cauldron. That's a lie. They signify the most unbalanced of all cameras. It's just like the nicest look, raw, easy to edit files, beautiful dynamic range and then just so hard to use and you gotta rig it up with all this external stuff. Like they lead the industry in hardness. When it comes to Canon in general, just look at the Canon R8. You got the lightest weight full frame body, dual pixel autofocus, 180 frames per second. You're like leading the industry and then all the, no Ibis. A oh, tiny little better. And still hard to edit files. They're not easy, they're not fun. Sure, if you have your M1, ooh, Fancy Mac boy, like as if anybody's gonna entirely switch their whole life into a different ecosystem where like all your programs don't work, I'll use Final Cut Pro now instead of DaVinci. DaVinci your mom. But it's like you have the Canon color science so beautiful right out of the box. Maybe you look very overexposed. You make me nervous, Canon, right now. You're saying one metering, I doubt you're telling the truth like anybody is. But like the best look, somewhat reliable autofocus, it just works. And then you lose my life with the hard to edit files. And your cinema cams, you then have easy to edit files. The C70 and all your C200s, those are all easy. They have good codecs, but then you lose the animal eye detect and the more reliable autofocus and auto exposure it goes out the yin yang. You go 4K 120p on the Canon R5C. You can't even autofocus. I mean, auto expose. Nothing works. The shutter don't ride like it should, like professionals do. What are we doing? When it comes to Fuji, they released this GFX 100 Mark II and 
they're saying like it does 8k video and like it's movie centric now almost it almost is it's like flog 2 10 bit 422 it's like everything's amazing here 4k 60p where's my flippy screen if it's a video boy you lied to me and like all of its modes are like super crop like high crops like 51 percent crops not just little like oh Sorry, Sony does a 10% crop in 4K 120p. It's like, sorry about that. Before the announcement, I was watching the Fuji guy all week long posting little teasers. And I'm like, who cares about the medium format? He's like, you'll never believe how low it's priced. It's like 7,500. Can you believe that? And he was like, oh. like as if that was a feat. That's like over $10,000 Canadian. How is that a feat of anything? A feat of strength? to lift the money to the store. There's a lot of dollar bills. What the heck is so expensive and the lens is so huge. Who's in that system? Like retired inventors of plasma or something? Like people who invented the atom? I don't know, like who has that much money or strength? And when it comes to Fuji's other lineups, like the Fuji XS20, it's like, you have the best looks, the film sims, the classic neg, nostalgic neg. It's like, you cannot beat that thing. It's so beautiful. And then like super slow-mo and decent autofocus. And then you cripple it with the worst IBIS in the game. How are you that bad at it? There's full frame sensors that are much better. Sony is better than you. They're leading the industry at the bottom. It's the bottom of the industry. They're the worst, but they're so much better than Fuji. It's not even funny. With their active stave, I haven't even tried the dynamic stave of the ZV-E1. That thing probably blows my mind. Fantastic. And Panasonic S5 II? Full frame sensor. More stable than most Micro Four Thirds were. Fuji, how can you be this bad at IBIS? Like, it's so bad. And then you're in nature. 70 to 300 is the most stable thing you've ever seen in your life. It's like, wow, Fuji, what are you doing? Wide angle lenses can be stabilized. How is it so much worse? I'm now in enhanced stable and there's zero vignette now. It's only like 45% crop. We're still kind of not even close to full frame. It's almost slightly bigger than APS-C sensor. Not bad lens boy. When it comes to Sony, all I'm going to say about Sony is they've released five cameras since the A7S III that match the specs but are crippled in some devastating fashion. Nothing has beaten the Sony A7S III in totality. The A1, you could say it has 8K. Okay, nobody cares about that. You're not ready. Don't even pretend you are. A1. A7S three specs, no flippy screen. How? FX3, A7S three specs, no viewfinder. Sorry about that, we took it. It's gray though, nice gray body, just like your grandma. FX30, smaller sensor, APS-C now, no viewfinder. A7S three specs though, with crops, crops. ZBE1, smaller, lighter, A7S three specs, what's the catch? Oh, no viewfinder, and it overheats sometimes, apparently. So maybe it doesn't, it likely could. Sony a6700, same APS-C, bad viewfinder. They give you one, but it's terrible. Crops in the 4K specs and HD 240p. Yeah, Sony's only real problem is their color science. As we're witnessing now, everything else is flawless. And then you just have these colors. You know in that G9 Mark II review, I had to compare the Sony every time. I'm like, damn, that looks green or something. Just next to Panasonic, which looked normal. I always had to tweak something like a magenta shift. And then, oh my God, it's still too green. I have no idea what I'm doing. If I was a professional colorist, I could make do. But Sony, you suck the life out of my face. Sony, you're a piece of shit. Every time I get a little email about Sony has a new firmware to adapt, it's never about the A7S III. It's always about these other cameras and like connecting them to drones. I would connect 
your president to a drone and fly him off a cliff and drop him in the edges of China, where he belongs, where the village people can take his suit and make something better of it. A little saddle for one of their donkeys. I hate you. We're now in 4K. I feel like the depth of field is even thinner now. I can't even truly find vocal planes. Was there any other losers we gotta talk about? Panasonic, they just come out with their banning boy, G92. It's like best IBIS I've ever seen. It's finally something that can be compared to GoPro level. They're the first mirrorless camera where you're just like, that's basically a GoPro. It's actually more natural. It's not you shaking in the frame. It's just you getting pleasured by Panty Boy Ibis. And it's just fantastic, good colors, class leading slow motion, but, oh, sorry. We're removing a lot of manual focus only and 300 frames, 4K 120, no human or animal detect. It's like little things, sorry, miss, missing piece. We're not allowed to give you the whole buffet. It's like going to a lunchtime buffet at a rodeo. It's just horse meat. It's just so unfair. I don't understand why nobody can just balance things properly. You have access to like a glass on a panty boy with the best stabe. You're 3D popping with micro four thirds. Lightweight lenses, fun. Perfect autofocus. Why can't I autofocus with animal bird detect? in 300 frames per second. Why? It'll do a burst, at least. 30 second burst is all I ask. I know it sounds like a long time and it'll be like four hours of footage, but come on. Give me some, and why is nobody doing like a thousand frames per second, but four second burst only? Is that too fun? Would I laugh too much? Are you allergic to me smiling? Do you want to see it? No, I don't know how to smile. Nikon. Oh my god, I thought we were done. Nikon. You have no mid-range option. Since 2018, you released the Z6 Mark I. That was your first chance at my love. And then you like pretended to upgrade it. You got nothing better. Just like, oh, better autofocus in the Z6 II. Nothing changed, no spec. Five years? We're waiting for something fun to happen with the flippy screen? You keep putting flippy screens in your bullshit Z30s. That thing could have been so good. It's the lightest weight thing you could get for APS-C. You get the flippy screen, 12 to 28 mil lens. Imagine that handheld, super light. Great autofocus, great auto exposure. Nikon color science. No Ibis. Dated slow-mo. 120 frames in HD. You and Black Magic should make a soup. Witch boy. 8 bit files. How could I bring out my inner demon with 8 bit technology? That's what you're looking at now. 8 bits. Canon. Yeah, fun. It gets all blocky and choppy. What are you doing? 10 bits, more colors. Even the action cams have 10 bit now. Freaking DJI, action four, 10 bits and 4K 120p. What are you doing? Nikon key mission, bring that thing back. I'll throw it in the sewer. You know what I think is going on as we switch to the Siriu 55 mil 1.2? Separate review coming for these bad freaks. Oh boy. I think it's done on purpose, either to save their best for last type of thing like every year something is upgraded but not perfected because they want the next version to add that thing but still that one is never perfected and it's a perpetual loop of mediocrity like the iPhone 15 was it just announced what did that add nothing can you lower the sharpness in any shot I doubt it that black magic app Ooh, he was so excited about that I don't have an iPhone is that coming for Android? You're a piece of shit. If we could work together, we could mix all these different things. A Fuji Classic Neg in a full frame sensor with Panasonic Ibis. Wow, Sony autofocus in there. Oh my God, no color science of Sony input. They're left out of that meeting. My goodness, we could be doing black magic raw in that thing. 
So easy to edit, but beautiful. Wow, 12 bit? 14 bit raw, wow. Built in XLR mics? From some audio company? Like Sennheiser? Wow, Sennheiser mics? Built in to an action cam? God, let's work together here. So it's this bullshit. Every time something new is released, I'm not excited. I'm not waiting for it. I'm like, better pounce on that. Nothing. It's like the same thing over and over again. Better in some area, but removing something I loved. Go to heaven and ask for forgiveness before you're sent down to hell where you belong. Companies. I'm going to leave. How you doing? Are you in agreement? There's always something off. Unbalanced cameras. Removing something. I hate that they take photographs. That's the worst part of any camera. I'm gonna leave. Was I in focus for any of this show? I could have been. You subscribing for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.